have a paper tour that you can take, a historic walking tour that has 40 sites in our downtown district. We decided to bump it up a notch, so we've introduced a QR or quick response code tour. We were lucky enough to have with us two Duke interns this summer, Will and Diego, and they had all the IT expertise that we needed to make this dream a reality. So throughout our downtown, you have 10 different stops where you can take our QR code walking tour. We think this is going to really appeal to that 50 and under crowd, whereas our regular walking tour, paper tour might um, appeal to that 50 and older crowd. In addition to the basic facts and information about the site that you're standing in front of, and this happens to be the Beatty Spivey House, you're going to see a great picture of your location. In scrolling down, you're going to see a fun fact, something you might not get on the regular tour. You can watch a video. This one is an awesome story about the ghost story of this house. They had five children, and all five children died under somewhat uh, mysterious circumstances. Now, Thomas Beatty was one of the original signers of the Ordinance of Succession, so he's pretty well known. And Ma Mary Beatty, his wife, was a pretty formidable woman in downtown Conway as well. So they had four girls and one boy. The boy was um, Brookman Beatty, Brookie for short. Two of the girls died of what we refer to now as the fever when they were younger. Um, one of the girls was recently married and had gone on a riverboat tour um, along the Waccamaw, which was tradition then in the 1800s with her new husband. And their boat ran aground. They were attacked by mosquitoes and her husband took very violently ill and came back died so now we have the two daughters that have died the new bridegroom has died so the widow um, is sitting on the porch here of the house not long after her husband's death about six months and she hears shouts and cries coming from Kingston Lake which is located just behind um, the baby house here so she rushes to Kingston Lake